Hi everybody and welcome once again to my video blog. Um, so today I'm just going to give you an update about uh, my recovery since my breast augmentation surgery. So the surgery took place last Wednesday, so um, slightly over a week ago. And things have been going pretty well, I find. I was actually surprised, you know, at how little the surgery affected my ability, you know, to live a normal life. Um, as you saw, Erin and I went for, uh, for supper at a nearby restaurant close to our hotel uh, for dinner on the day after, I'm uh, sorry, on the day of the surgery. And on the day after the surgery, we went again out for dinner with some friends, with uh, Bronwyn and Jamie from Toronto. And we did quite a bit of walking. And on the Friday after the surgery, we went to see uh, the movie Scott Pilgrim vs. the World in the movie theaters. And I think we again went to a restaurant for lunch. And on the Saturday, uh, when we came back from Montreal, we went yet again to another restaurant dinner with some uh, some close friends of Aaron's. Uh, Aaron really wanted to see uh, to see her friend who's uh, who's leaving Montreal. You know, she has this friend who's leaving Montreal for good, and it's one of the last opportunities that Aaron had to see her. So. Uh, you know, we really wanted to go to this dinner, and you know, I found it. That, and it hasn't been very difficult. You know, I can walk around just fine. I can do most normal activities. Um, I have some amount of discomfort, and the strength in my arms, you know, is somewhat reduced. But apart from that, you know, I've been doing pretty much everything I normally do by myself without very much difficulty. Um, you know, unfortunately, you know, it's not all perfect, you know. It, the surgery has affected me somewhat, obviously. It's been causing me some amount of discomfort. Um, you know, there's some pain, there's a sensation, you know, that the skin in the breast area is being stretched. I have some muscle pain under my arms, mostly, on the sides. You know, I can't really sleep on the side, which I find to be a little bit annoying, because sleeping on, on my side is the position I find to be the most comfortable the most easy to fall asleep in and the pain has been affecting my sleep somewhat in the last few days you know it's been waking me up at night making it very hard for me to fall asleep because of that in the last few days I woke up in the morning and found myself feeling you know a little bit grumpy and irritable um, so I decided you know that even though I'm not taking painkillers anymore I would take uh, Aleve before going to sleep. It's a, it's a pretty strong anti-inflammatory, so it's it's like Tylenol, but it lasts for a solid 8 hours, I find. So I can take it like 45 minutes before going to sleep, and it will last me the whole night. Uh, I've also taken some progesterone. Progesterone is a, is a female hormone, and the pills I take, which are micronized progesterone, has the side effect that they will make me very sleepy. So, you know, if I take two of them again, like 45 minutes before going to sleep, it's going to make it much, much easier for me to fall asleep. So by doing that, I've been able to, uh, to sleep pretty well in the last two days. I've also been doing, been doing everything I could, you know, to recover as well as possible, making sure to eat a lot of protein, making sure to eat vitamins. I've been napping in the afternoon, you know, whenever I can, whenever I feel sleepy and trying to give myself a chance to rest. Um, also, I went to school yesterday for a meeting, but I took the liberty on Monday, on Tuesday and today to work from home, you know, simply to give myself as much of a chance of, you know, recovering as possible. And I find that, you know, so far it's going pretty well, you know. It's a bit annoying because the pain, you know, is taking time to go away. And I have to wear this, this very tight sports bra for like a whole month after the surgery, so I have three more weeks to go. But my condition, you know, seems to be improving steadily, even though it's slow. You know, I, I seem to have, to be recovering the strength in my arms, you know, to be able to support myself with my arms without, without pain. And, you know, that's pretty good. Um, Aaron and I actually have plans already, you know, to go dancing on Saturday uh, with this friend of Aaron's who's leaving Montreal and some other friends of mine and hers and I, I have a pretty nice dress I think which is going to be able to cover the sports but I have to wear 24 7 uh, pretty nicely uh, so I think it should be fun you know and if I feel too tired I'm sure Aaron 
will understand, you know, if I if I sit down or if I want to go home, you know, not too late. Uh, because she's she's been very understanding and very supportive. But she's actually something else I wanted to talk about, you know. I was somewhat afraid of what Erin's reaction would be to uh, the breast implants. She's voiced her concerns before, you know, she really was afraid that the result was going to end up, you know, fake looking and all that, but so far she's actually been having a very positive reaction. She said that uh, the breasts turn her on and that she seems to feel very comfortable and to generally, you know, have no problem with it now. So I'm actually pretty happy about that because I, w I was afraid they would negatively affect my relationship and, you know, our sex life and all that. But that doesn't seem to be a problem. Uh, people have also asked me if I was happy with the result so far. And I have to say, it's, it's, it's much too early in a sense, you know. I mean, right now, they, they feel quite stiff, you know. The skin is, is extremely tight and the muscle is too. And that means, you know, that when I press on them, they feel pretty rigid. Um, and also they feel, you know, quite far apart. There's like a one and a half, two inch gap in between, which looks somewhat unnatural. You know, and there isn't very much movement when I move around. Uh, we talked to the doctor after the surgery, and he told me that these things would improve with time. You know, the skin is going to stretch a little bit, the muscle is going to relax, and eventually they're going to get a bit closer together, and they're going to drop down a little bit, and and be much more natural looking. And you know, if we're to believe his uh, his before and after pictures that we uh, we saw, they're final result, you know, should, well, we should begin to see something that looks a little bit more like the final result in maybe like three or four months. So I'm, I'm like eagerly uh, awaiting, you know, the breast looking a little bit more natural, um, you know, but I'm going to give it time because, you know, when I had my facial feminization surgery, right after the surgery I looked at myself in the mirror and I thought that the result was actually very disappointing. And if you go look at my results from, you know, right after my facial feminization surgery, you'll see that I had so much swelling in my face, you know. I look, I looked very different from the way I look now. And it took quite a while, you know, for all the swelling to go away, for the final result to finally show. You know, so I, I, have, I have to be confident that the result will improve uh, somewhat with time at this point, you know. Um, and yeah. I have to be patient, basically, and uh, just do my best to recover as well as possible. Um, for those of you who asked me some, you know, questions about the implant size, uh, the implants are each 320 cc's, that's cubic centimeters. I chose the size basically because the surgeon recommended it, uh, because I told him I wanted something like a B cup, and this should be something like a full B or a small C cup. Um, I think it's a fairly realistic size, you know, if you look at me from the side. Um, in this kind of, of shirt, I think it looks fairly natural. Of course, like I've just said, you know, right now they look a little bit far apart, which makes it look somewhat less natural. But I think in time, it should look pretty good. Um, and the name of the doctor is Mitchell H. Brown. I think he has a website, uh, Toronto Breast Implant. I wish you can find a lot of uh, before and after pictures of his work. Uh, the before and after pictures is actually the reason why Aaron and I chose this guy. He seemed to have the most realistic looking results. And in his before and after pictures, we saw several of women who seemed to have even less breast tissue than I had to begin with. So we found that to be quite encouraging, you know, for, for me. Uh, that he was able to, you know, to give them realistic breasts uh, using implants. Even though they had barely anything to start with. So yeah, at this point I pretty much have to be patient and uh, do my best and hope for the best and uh, try not to be grumpy uh, even, you know, if it interferes a little bit with my sleep. Uh, but that's about it. Okay, bye bye people.